Hi everyone and welcome to our channel. In this video we are talk about BlackRock at an investment product about Bitcoin. The world's largest asset manager is adding Bitcoin futures as an eligible investment to two funds, a company filing showed. The company said it could use Bitcoin derivatives for its funds BlackRock Strategic Income Opportunities and BlackRock Global Allocation Fund Incorporated. The funds will invest only in cash settled Bitcoin futures traded on commodity exchanges registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. The company said in a filing to the Securities and Exchange Commission on Wednesday. Earlier this month, Bitcoin, the world's most popular cryptocurrency, hit a record high of $40,000, rallying more than 900% from a low in March. And having only just breached $20,000 in mid December. Bitcoin tumbled 10.6% in midday US trading Thursday. Other US-based asset managers will likely follow BlackRock's lead and add exposure to Bitcoin in some form to their go anywhere. Or macro strategies as the cryptocurrency market becomes more liquid and developed, said Todd Rosenbluth, director of mutual fund research at CFRA. It's easy to see how strong the performance has been of late and look at a historical asset allocation strategy. That would have included a slice of crypto and how returns would have been enhanced as a result, he said. Large institutional investors are going to be able to tap into the futures market in a way that a retail investor could not do. There is currently no US-based exchange-traded fund that owns Bitcoin, limiting the ability of most fund managers to own the cryptocurrency in their portfolios. BlackRock Chief Executive Officer Larry Fink had said at the Council of Foreign Relations in December. Bitcoin is seeing giant moves every day and could possibly evolve into a global market. Bitcoin derivatives registered on commodity exchanges will become eligible investments for the BlackRock Funds V and BlackRock Global Allocation Fund. According to the 8.7 trillion US dollars asset managers filing with the US Securities and Exchange Commission this week. BlackRock's CEO Larry Fink has recently sounded increasingly positive about Bitcoin, saying in December. Can it evolve into a global market? Possibly. He also added that having a digital currency makes the need for the US dollar to be less relevant. The price of Bitcoin has fallen by 16% in the last week, tumbling off its record high of over 40,000 US dollars. The cryptocurrency's value previously doubled between December and January, boosted by fast-growing institutional investment in response to coronavirus-related economic turmoil. The trend of high-profile asset managers buying into digital assets picked up pace dramatically in 2020. With the traditionally defensive rougher investment company placing a £550 million stake in Bitcoin in November. In a recent portfolio update, the UK-based investment company said that it believes Bitcoin is poised for a wave of mainstream institutional adoption. Ruffer says the macroeconomic outlook of negative interest rates, extreme monetary policy, ballooning public debt, and perilously high prices for traditional safe haven assets are all points in favor of adopting cryptocurrency. The coming together of a fragile monetary system, distorted financial markets and investors' hunger for safety could trigger a surge in demand for Bitcoin as a store of value. Mainstream adoption by financial institutions could be around the corner, with Bitcoin becoming an alternative to gold and government bonds. Investment flows have already been surging, according to digital currency asset manager Grayscale, which managed to grow more than 10 times in size over the course of 2020. The firm, which runs the Grayscale Bitcoin Trust, went from 2 billion US dollars to 20.2 billion US dollars in assets under management by the end of 2020. Institutional investors were responsible for an overwhelming 93% of Grayscale's capital inflows, and the size of these allocations is rising rapidly. According to the company's fourth quarter update, the average institution committed 6.8 million US dollars. More than double the figure for the previous quarter. The career risk of allocating to Bitcoin has turned into the career risk of being a laggard, comments Grayscale. Exchanges are also preparing for surging investment in digital assets. The largest cryptocurrency exchange by Euro trading volume, recently moved to take advantage of a critical tipping point in the industry by doubling the number of trading pairs available in both UK sterling and the Australian dollar. The digital currency industry is at a critical tipping point as institutional investors start to allocate into the asset class, says Jonathan Miller, Kraken's managing director of Australia. A recent survey of institutional investors by Evertus has found that a quarter believe that their cryptocurrency allocations will rise dramatically in the next five years, with a further two-thirds agreeing that there will be some rise. 
However, the survey also found that a lack of insurance cover for crypto assets and concerns over compliance procedures still loom large in the minds of would-be investors. Ruffer stressed that many of the impediments to institutional investment in cryptocurrencies have been dismantled due to rapid recent improvements in digital infrastructure. Security, which is often a concern with digital assets, has improved to the point that nobody at Ruffer can access the Bitcoin according to the firm. Ruffer says the investment is held in offline cold storage by an independent qualified custodian and a fiduciary under New York state banking laws and is covered by an industry-leading insurance policy. Moreover, the company argues that the move into Bitcoin helps diversify its much larger investments in gold and inflation-linked bonds. Today, we see Bitcoin as a small but potent insurance policy. The firm has been using unconventional sources of protection for its portfolios for some time such as its defensive holdings in yen and the Swiss franc that helped drive strong gains for its portfolios during the credit crisis in 2008. These holdings were sometimes unpopular, but ultimately proved their worth, says Ruffer. As institutional investors continue to place bets, Grayscale believes that the next frontier of crypto investment will be nation-states adopting digital currencies into their national banking infrastructures. Central bankers have been reluctant to engage with digital assets in the past. European Central Bank President Christine Lagarde recently dismissed Bitcoin as a currency, stating that this is a highly speculative asset, which has conducted some funny business and some interesting and totally reprehensible money laundering activity. On Tuesday, U.S. Treasury Secretary nominee, Janet Yellen, suggested that regulators should attempt to curtail the use of cryptocurrencies for illegal activities. In the UK, the Financial Conduct Authority, FCA, has also stated that consumers who invest in cryptocurrencies should be prepared to lose all their money. Bitcoin has lost about half its value in 2022, while the collapse of the Terra ecosystem and hedge fund Three Arrows Capital have raised questions about the resilience of the market and prompted heightened regulatory scrutiny. Despite the steep downturn in the digital asset market, we are still seeing substantial interest from some institutional clients in how to efficiently and cost-effectively access these assets using our technology and product capabilities. Despite the steep downturn in the digital asset market, we are still seeing substantial interest from some institutional clients in how to efficiently and cost-effectively access these assets using our technology and product capabilities.